Burr, Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you on the north side of Chicago, about to go into Costco on a cold and wet and windy day. But you know what? It's warm and lovely and toasty inside of Costco because this week, the December sales launch. And I was perusing them online and there's some good stuff. But what we're gonna do, like always, is go into that warehouse, show you what to buy, show you what to avoid and why. It's really, really cold out here. So before we go in, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, all those things are great but there's also a bell icon below the video enable all notifications that way you get a push when all of our content goes live including the live stream where we're cooking a recipe from start to finish okay less talking more shopping let's mask up let's get some sales at costco baby i have entered the snack food aisle and costco is buzzing y'all it's 10 in the morning and people are getting their thanksgiving shop on uh there's not too many snacks on sale right now maybe one of the better ones here is the Terra root vegetable chips. That's a really good deal, right? 18 ounce bag, 439, 220 off, limit five here. Now this is not the ideal chip, but it is better than many other that have here. So if we look at the ingredients for these, I do love the fact that they swap out potato chips for nutrient dense root vegetables, like sweet potatoes, Terra, and parsnips. These are non dirty dozen items, so they don't have to be organic, which they're not. I don't love the oil, but it is expeller pressed canola oil or safflower oil or sunflower oil. We don't know it's one of those three, but it's expeller pressed and some beet juice concentrate. So this is not ideal, but I am going to say it's Bobby approved because it's one of the better chips here. I'm going to rant and rave about the chips here at Costco and why they need an overhaul. Remember this, if you're going to eat plant-based oils like sunflower, safflower oil, canola oil, please make sure they're expeller pressed. That means they're not nearly as processed and refined and nearly as inflammatory for you as the non-expeller pressed. It's not ideal, but if you're gonna get these, it's still one of the better chips here. I'm okay with that, but I'm not ideal with that. And that price is really good. Now, Costco, what are you doing? We have to upgrade the oils in your potato chips. I've talked about this before, but not one potato chip anywhere at Costco has a good quality oil. This is their Himalayan salt. Kettle chips, what kind of oil? Safflower, sunflower, or canola oil. Well, yeah, it has good salt, but it has the cruddy oils. These are the inflammatory, highly processed oils. Why can Sam's Club have that big bag of Boulder potato chips with olive oil? One of the best in class oils, but they can't do that here at Costco. We got to talk about that, Costco. Now, this is one of the better things here at Costco. And we talked about that at the end of the video last week. These plantain chips, I'm so excited they're here. Because talking about good oils, look at this. They swap out either the expeller pressed or the non-expeller pressed canola with coconut oil and plantains and Himalayan pink salt. They're so darn good. And here's the funny thing. We got these, or I got these last week when we filmed the video. Art was on the fence for getting them, so he didn't. We went home and had lunch. He's like, oh, these are good. He just texted me. He said, hey, if you're still at Costco, can you scoop me a bag? Well, Art, I have scooped you a bag. These are great. Can we please get coconut oil to go in one of those chips over there or avocado oil or olive oil? We got to do something about that. Now, if I come to the other end here of the uh, chip aisle, these are on sale right here. I love this name, Crunch Master. Very, very cool, multi-grain baked crackers. You look right here, wow, $3 off, limit five. Even the price without the sale is Dynosity. With the sale, it's fantabulous, right? But here's my deal. If we read the front of the label and that's it, you're like, wow, multi-grain, what kind of seeds? Fantastic, whole grain, gluten-free grains like ch -ch -ch chia, quinoa, millet, amaranth, I love it, right? I'm loving it. But we always read the back of the label. So yes, it does have those amaranth and chia, but look at this, the oil they're using is safflower oil. It's not expeller pressed, meaning it's highly processed and highly refined and inflammatory. And if we look at the last line here, it's got maltodextrin, corn maltodextrin. Does it say non-GMO? It does say non-GMO there, but still, this is a food preservative. That's not ideal. If you want to see that in there, it should come from uh, tapioca uh not uh corn so this is not ideal at all i would say given those uh items i would do what mark cuban does in shark tank i would do a hard pass on that one this is what i call an item that looks healthy but it's actually not so pass on that if you want the healthiest crackers i mean i actually have to buy another box when i'm here because desi and rose are crushing these it's this it's the chicago-based simple mill crackers i wish it would go on sale but even without the sale price it's half price of any grocery store and you don't have any of those nasty ingredients. The only one I don't love, 
Once again, it's sunflower oil and it is expeller pressed. I emailed them. If they just swap that with avocado, coconut, or uh, extra virgin, I'd be really, really happy. But the rest of the ingredients are much cleaner than Crunch Master. So I would go with these. The price is great, but Costco, fly me out to Washington. We'll do a little consultation. We have to overhaul this whole chip area here and get some good quality oils in there. I'll do it for free even, and we'll get it done right. Um, maybe not free, I'll give you a discount, but we have to do something about it, Costco. Can't come to this aisle of Costco without talking about Laird's Superfood Creamer. So many of you guys are buying the best in class plant-based creamer on the market, and the price is right here at Costco. But what just launched today? The Laird Superfood Black Friday sale with savings of 25% with free shipping. You guys, I know, know that I love Laird Superfood. They've been sponsoring the channel all year long. Click my link down below for the holidays that have a build your own bundle. You can make a bundle of anything you want on the website and give it as a gift. But with 25% off and free shipping, take advantage of some of my favorite products. You know I love the InstaFuel. If you're looking for the best in class instant coffee latte that's plant-based, that's amazing. Along with pumpkin spice creamer and Desi and I crush maybe three times a week. Their hot cocoa with reishi mushrooms in there, superfood mushrooms. You know I love it. They make amazing, amazing creamers and coffee drinks with best in class ingredients. They don't skimp anywhere. 25% off is an insane sale. Click the link down below, build a bundle, stock up on the holidays because that sale is not going to come back for a long, long time. And if you're a Costco member, get that creamer. And on the West Coast, they have the Laird coffee with the superfood mushrooms. Laird is crushing the game, y'all. Wow. Are you getting all those pumpkin pies? I am. Is it for like a food bank? Uh, it's actually for client thank yous. Oh. For a real estate company. Oh, good idea. I yeah. All right, it's so funny. I didn't see these sales here online in the mailer. So do you guys have this at yours too? I hope it's the KitchenAid stand mixer for $80 off. It's the really nice professional one that has that nice lever that takes it up and down. That's a great price and perfect for Christmas and uh, Hanukkah baking there. And then this Ninja foodie was not online either. But you know what? It's $30 off. It's a six in one cooker here. Pressure cooker, multi cooker. I'm on team Instant Pot. I don't know, has anyone bought this thing before? I've seen commercials for it, but I like the Instant Pot, so I don't know, it's a good deal, but I'd go for sure for the KitchenAid. Now, if we go down this aisle for what I came for, not talking to the lady about her insane amount of pumpkin pies, this is the product that baffles me the most. So this is on sale right now in the snack food aisle. It's Paleo Dark Chocolate Bars. It's $5 off, limit six, variety pack. So I've seen these before. Okay, they're paleo. Keep that in mind. They're paleo dark chocolate bars. So let's read the ingredients here. This is the dark chocolate bar. Okay, nut and seed blend. I love that. There's no oats. There's no grains. Dark cocoa coating. Sugar, palm kernel oil, sunflower lecithin, and agave syrup, which is paleo. But can we go back for a second? The cocoa coating has cane sugar. Um, it's pretty much my understanding that cane sugar is not a paleo sweetener. So why are they calling themselves paleo caveman dark chocolate bars? And even though palm oil is fine in terms of like paleo, that's one of the lowest quality oils you can find. Really, really bad. When you're doing paleo and keto, it's about clean paleo keto, meaning like coconut oil, avocado oil, virgin uh, olive oil. But that really boggles my mind. What about this one here? This one has natural flavors, but I don't understand why they're calling this paleo. So don't be fooled. I wouldn't get that because of the ingredients are not good, but things that make you go, hmm. And just like that, and just like Phil Hartman on Saturday Night Live, I might just be a caveman, right? An unfrozen caveman lawyer, but me thinks that sugar is not paleo. I love curried lentils. In fact, we have a five ingredient uh, semi-homemade curried lentil recipe in our new cookbook. And I saw this was on sale. It's organic lentil pouches Wow, $4 off. So eight pouches for $9, amazing deal. Let's see the ingredients. I like that everything's organic and I'll tell you why. Uh, so organic black lentils, organic kidney beans, organic non-GMO cream, all the organic non-GMO butter, arg, organic sunflower oil. I don't know if it's expelled or pressed. I'm gonna DM the company right now and hopefully they get back to me soon. 
and just a few other ingredients. So this is very interesting because legumes like lentils and kidney beans have to be organic in my opinion, because non-organic legumes score high in glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in Roundup. So organic is a must. And every other ingredient is really, really cool. If it is expeller pressed, it's allowable. It's not perfect, just like the chips we talked about, but it's allowable. Once again, you guys just put avocado, put coconut oil, charge an extra 30 cents, and I'll buy that. I think everyone would, but let's find out what that is. Either way, it's still a very interesting product. Um, the cookbook, by the way, you guys have ordered it so much. It's coming out December 1st. It's a number one bestseller in multiple categories. It's five ingredient semi-homemade meals with all of my shopping tips in the book and showing you how to make healthy, easy recipes using the best quality ingredients and products from the grocery store. I'll put the link down below. Let's continue to make this a bestseller. I think you're gonna love this one. Oh, wow, what is this on the end cap here? Beet chips from Rhythm. Hey, these are the same guy who made those uh, cauliflower chips. So they must have beet chips now. That's a good deal, $5.49. Uh, let's see, there was an issue, I believe, with the uh, cauliflower chips before. And I ah, see it. There's the organic high oleic sunflower oil, organic beets, and sea salt. But this is interesting. So these are actually, are they air dried? Where does it say that? Look at this. Dried, not fried. Product of Austin. Man, Austin is like the food startup capital of the world right now. So when you see high oleic, that refers to the fatty acid profile. It's heart healthier. But I don't see the word expeller pressed here. So once again, I'll shoot these guys a DM. But do we keep seeing the theme in this video? If we just upgrade the oil to these non-processed plant-based oils like avocado or olive or coconut, we'd be so much better. That being said, I'm hoping these are expeller pressed because they're dried, not fried. There's barely any added fat here, so we don't have to worry about it too much. So I'm going to say they're not ideal, but if they are expeller pressed, they're going to be approved here. Um, but if we just swap out that oil, it'd be better, right? So rhythm. Let the rhythm move you. <laughs> if I was here, he'd be making a face. Now, here it is. According to my coupon book, this humidifier is $20 off, so it's 60 bucks. I'll take one of those for sure. We need one more. The condo gets very, very dry in the winter, and Rose is super cute. She likes to stick her head right above there and get all the vapors in her face and laugh. So I'll take that for a great deal. And then, right across the way, here it is. Now, this is the Dyson V11 Animal Plus. It's too expensive at $579, but on, I believe, November 27th, let's see the price. Here we go. On November 27th, in my booklet, it's $180 off, taking the price down to $399. I believe I bought this before with $100 off, and I thought for sure I was gonna buy it, and I'd return it because there's no way I'd spend that kind of money. My friends, this, guy right here is unbelievable we obviously make a ton of messes in the house especially the kitchen every day i cannot believe how incredible this vacuum is and what i did i bought it and i'm like yeah it's, there's no way i'm gonna like it it's so expensive costco is the best return policy ever i'll return it i've never returned it so for 400 dollars, which is a great discount from here if you want one of the best vacuums i've ever had and rose loves it too we bought her a little baby vacuum too uh, Dyson to vacuum with me. This is a phenomenal deal. Drop in on November 27. Hey, if you don't love it, return it. That's the Costco return policy. Oh, nice. She's getting the humidifier too. Yeah, but now it's $20 cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm going to buy you this and $20. Smart move. Enjoy, enjoy. See, people want the savings on the humidifier. It gets very dry in Chicago in the winter. Wow, that holiday flavored spin drift. The cranberry one is gone already. That must have sold out or been very, very limited. I heard it was great. I actually didn't get even get a chance to buy it or see if it was good. Uh, but Pellegrino is still on sale. The glass bottle is my favorite. Wow, what a deal. $4.50 off, limit five. 15 bottles for under a dollar a bottle. I love the ones out of the glass bottles because you guys know how I feel about the plastic one. I just feel like the nanoparticles of plastic could go in there. But this is so nice and classy. You pop some glass bottles on your holiday table, right? I guess you can't really have anyone over to your house. And if you do in the state of Oregon, your neighbor's gonna get you arrested. Uh, but if you wanna have a few people over, treat yourself, these are really, really nice. And that deal is fantastic. And I won't snitch on you just in case you wanna know. I'm not that kind of person.
Oh, good that I have toilet paper. I was afraid they were going to be sold out because I'm seeing reports on the news that people are stockpiling again because they're getting worried about uh, national lockdowns. Limit one per household. Well, I need one exactly. I don't know about you guys, but I like the Kirkland one here. The Charmin or the Scott one, they're just too soft. It feels like you're using that bear on the packaging to wipe your bum. I like the Costco one and the prices are right. Astute Costco shoppers will notice that the price of almond flour, which Desi crushes like nobody's business, has gone back down to $11.99 for a three pound bag. That was creeping up to about $4.30 a pound, which is still not a bad deal, but now it's back down. This is by far the best price ever on almond flour, and Desi uh, just launched this week a um, almond flour gluten-free key lime pie recipe on the blog that's quite popular i'll put that link down below and she toasts the almond flour in a pan then mixes it with the Kerrygold butter that's on sale back there we talked about that last week and a little bit of coconut sugar it is phenomenal so that is going in the bag with my other goodies here Got a little bit of Kerrygold uh, Dubliner cheese, and that's it. So uh, that's it, my friends. That's what's on sale right now for the December Costco holiday sale. There might be some other hot warehouse deals coming up in the next week or two. I'm on the case, and if they're very good, I'm back in the warehouse like I always am. But that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way the channel keeps growing is by you spreading that Flav City love. Uh, take advantage of the Laird Superfood 25% off free shipping Black Friday deal. Link down below. Uh, that's it. But I got two more videos below me right now, most likely from Costco, my happy place. But I will see you soon. Art, Desi, and Rosita will see you soon. And we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace, y'all.